हेलो एवरीवन इफ यू रिमेम्बर इन आवर पाइथन फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर सीरीज वी आर डूइंग द एस एस एच वी आर ट्राइंग टू राइट द कोड सो वी कैन एक्सेस द डिवाइस बाय यूजिंग द एस एस एच इफ यू वॉच अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड लेट मी शो यू सम डॉक्यूमेंट्स इफ यू सी बिफोर वी डिस्कस एस एस एच इज मोर सिक्योर कंपेयर टू टेलनेट टेलनेट इज नॉट सिक्योर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द एस एस एच सो वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरी वी कैन यूज वन इज पैरामिको एंड अनदर इज ए नेटमिको सो वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट दिस लाइब्रेरी वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट दिस वन देन वी कैन यूज सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फर्स्ट टू रन दिस वन फर्स्ट टू डू द एस एस एच डिवाइस रिमोटली फ्रॉम द पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट वी नीड टू इनेबल द एस एस एच इन साइड द डिवाइस सो वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन इनेबल द एस एस एच इन साइड द डिवाइस सो वॉट आई डन आई पावर ऑन द स्विच एंड देन आई विल टेक द कंसोल ऑफ दिस स्विच एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू पेस द एस एस एच कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन दिस स्विच ओके सो लेट मी शो यू आई ऑलरेडी राइट द कॉन्फिग्रेशन फॉर एस एस एच दिस इज ए एस एस एच कॉन्फिग्रेशन दिस इज ए बेसिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी यूज बिफोर ऑल्सो If you don't know, you can watch our CCNA series, CCNA 200-301 series. In that one, we already discussed this one. In YouTube, in Udemy, in Live Batch, everywhere we discuss this one, so you can understand. Anyhow, let me give you some detail about this one. Then we will implement this in the devices. So first of all, we need to go in the enable mode, and then we need to go in the global configuration mode because we are going to do the configuration. So we are inside the configuration mode. then we will create the username and password username is admin password is cisco i created and we give the privilege to uh, this user with the 15 we have the level different level we have we will give 15 privilege okay and then after that we need to go to the line vty that is virtual line vty 0 to 4 we will take line 0 to 4 and we are saying login local local means check from our database after that we need to write transport input all so with this way we will configure the ssh then you need to define the domain name any domain name you need to define after domain name we need to create the key crypto key generate rsa this is a step you need to follow first you need to create the domain after that you need to create the crypto key and they will ask you the number you need to write the number whatever number you can take example if you are using version 2 you need to give number means if you uh, take the higher value of this number it will have a more secure after that exit and write that one means save the configuration we are going to see now we are going to do that one and after that we this is a code we are going to use in our lab so what i done i include this paramico library i wrote import paramico i import the paramico get pass why i include the get pass because we are going to take the password and if we did not use the get pass whatever password we are typing we can see that one clearly clear text so i want to hide that one that's why we use the get pass as we done before and this is a three line we are using to create the section with the device so later we are going to see that this one and we are going to learn this all maybe you are confused if you see now this one so no need to worry in this uh, video what we can do how we can enable the ssh in our device and we can remotely access the device we uh, we will check we can remotely access the device with ssh or not in our next class we are going to do this lab i am going to explain you each and every step how we can install we need to first install the paramico in our laptop or desktop so we will use pip install paramico and with that one we are going to install so this one we are going to see later no issue now let's see first of all uh, i will go to the device and then we are going to load the configuration which configuration ssh configuration and this is a ssh configuration let me copy from here to here okay i copy this e configuration from here to here and let me copy and then i will go inside the switch this is my switch i will paste the configuration first already we have the password username uh, and the password so i will write here cisco now i am okay okay so now i am going to paste the configuration so now i paste the configuration if you see what error we are getting here a uh, user admin password is cisco this is also okay this is also okay this is also okay okay and uh, domain switch one dot abc do you want to replace it is asking because before i created before doing this lab that's why it is asking me so what i can do i can do the same thing on the other switch instead of this switch we can do in the other switch let me open this one okay i will open the other switch 
already I have the configuration in this one we don't have here so let me load the configuration in this switch okay so this switch is ready let me check here I write enable then we have the password as a Cisco and now I am going to paste the configuration because this configuration is common for all the devices we need to load in all the devices whatever device we are going to access with the SSH so I paste the configuration now if you see everything is good okay if you see what we happen what we done here we went in the global configuration we uh, mode and we created the user we taken the virtual line and we put the transport input we created the crypto key generate everything is okay and it is generated all the configuration done okay all the configuration done let me save the configuration i will write wr and now i want to check what ip we have i will show ip interface brief if you see this is the ip for my device 192.168.2.1 let me take putty from here i will write putty I, will, I install putty in my pc okay my pc is going to access the device remotely so i will select this ssh then i will type the ip here 192.168.2.11 sorry 146 okay i wrote this ip okay in the putty 192.168.2.146 imagine this is my pc physical pc i am accessing from from here to this pc this uh, switch with the putty so i will press open if you see we will have like this you need to accept and you will have the login detail you will write what is login admin and password is cisco okay when you write you can access you are accessing with the tel ssh show ip interface brief so now it is configured we can config we are, we are accessing the device we are accessing the device this device we are accessing with the ssh so ssh is configured now okay this way we need to load if you want to do for the other switch also we need to do for other switch also we will clear, we will open this one we will go in the console of this switch and then we need to press enter we need to wait some time it will load and then we need to paste this configuration in that switch i will go i will uh, put here enable as we give the password before cisco so i will go inside and now i will paste the configuration all configuration is good i will write wr i want to access i will write show ip interface brief show ip interface brief to check the ip address and let me open the putty software again this is a putty with the putty i am going to do the ssh so here i will type the ip 192.168.12.147 okay this is ip address 192.168.2.147 for this device i will click ok and you have this one accept and then put the username i give the username as admin and password is cisco so we are able to access this device with the putty by using the ssh so SSH is, SSH is enabled in our devices. So with this uh, what we can say uh, we enable the SSH in all these three switches. Now we can run this Python script with this one we can do the SSH and we can go and we can create the VLAN 2 and we can assign the IP address to VLAN 2. We can do this one. So we can do now but no issue but before doing this one I want to explain you the code like what is the use of this one why we are using this one and wha what is this all this one all this one why we are using the sleep here what is this one all i want to explain you in detail so that's we are going to do in our next class so next class we are, i am going to teach you what is this one after that we are going to implement this one we are going to do the lab for this one